Ray Maynard making his way to the world-famous octagon. Ray Maynard has excellent wrestling and huge takedowns and big power in his hands. He had Frankie Edgar in all sorts of trouble in the first round of their title fight and walked away from that fight with a draw. Ray Maynard fired up and ready to go. Guida set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Clay Guida is an unstoppable force, Mike. He's tenacious with his strikes from the start of the fight to the final bell. Solid chin, great defense, and he's constantly moving in so many directions that a lot of his opponents have trouble setting up their shots. Clay Guida ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ray the Bully Maynard. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Johnsburg, Illinois. Play the Carpenter Guida! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, defend yourself at all times, and if I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, let's come out fighting. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan, and we are ready for round one. Okay, fighters, Gray ready? Maynard, are you ready? Clay Guida. And we are That's underway. Right. Shot. Nice job, double leg. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. He's got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. Oh, belly to belly again. Back to their feet. Keep angling, keep angling. Under three minutes now. Let him walk in. Tight in the clinch. He's got the clinch up against the cage. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. And again, he goes for a ride. Got the over under here. All right, so they're back on their feet. He's got double underhooks here. He's got his opponent up towards the fence. Huge uppercut, Joe. And the battle for a dominant position continues. Nice right hand. Look at the battle for control here. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Follow up. 
both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Wow, that right hand. 30 seconds remains in the round. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. He's got the double. Stuffed. He's got a clinch. Round one complete. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. You gotta bring something behind it. Keep your I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one big shot. Wait till he sets his feet. Shoot. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Okay, fighters, you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. They clinch again. Stay busy. Get it back and up and make it pay. Keep moving. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Nice yeah, double nice. leg. Beautiful. Up and out, up and out, up and out. And he gets reversed. Able to posture up. Transitions to the full mount. Control his posture. Hold his hand down. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off with the feet. Yep, let your hands go. Just throw it. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, good counter. Left hook, he's down. And he's back to his feet. Inside with the clinch again. Oh, and he's down. He got that knee between his legs and then perfectly executed the takedown. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. Big left hook. Right there. Oh, looping hook there. Both guys staying in tight. Got to take down again. Over under control. 45 seconds. Watch for him to grab your legs. Into half guard. Moves into full mount here. He ate that one. We have completed two rounds. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Let's start hitting those. You want the fight? You're going to go win this round? You got the fight. You win this round, you got the fight. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. He has no defense for it. Breathe. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that.
That was some nice action from that round, Mike. Right? You feel moving that guard. Bring out that combat knee. Get yourself. Okay? The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, over the top! Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Oh, good combination. Got the over-under. Huge suplex! Oh, he gets reversed. He's got side control. Oh! And now they're back to their feet. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Teeing away. Boom! Full guard. Back on their feet. He takes him down again. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. And good right hand counter. Nice right hand. And he's down. Side control. Back to their feet. Good sprawl. It looks like Maynard is cut here too, Joe. And he answers. Big right hand. Guida has really opened up, Mike. That is a big cut. And now he's answered. Oh, they're going to close it up again. Right to the clinch. Just over a minute remains. Drops down for a double. Under a minute remains. Take it balance, Watch it. There you go, get in there. Pushing him up against the cage. 30 seconds remains in the round. Back him up. Get him back it up. Make him pay. Nice right hand. And again. He loves throwing that punch. And that takes us to the end of round number three. We head to the championship rounds. That looked like a tough round for both fighters, Joe. Yeah, they're taking some pretty serious punishment. I don't see this going the distance. Take him down. You're going to impose your will because you're a bigger strong. Try to spin him around. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on the end of the cage, okay? Need some more. Bent knees, okay? Getting a little bit high. Get it, the upper Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. Solid action in that round, Mike. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick on. The beautiful Brittany with us tonight. We are set for round four. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? We begin the championship rounds. This is round four of this title fight. What an exchange here. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. Nice. Under nicely. The clinch game once again. Oh! Wow, the power of the takedown there. He's got over under here from the back. Oh! He's in the full mount. He's got the back here, got both hooks in. And back to mount again. Under three minutes now. He ain't that one. 
Good job, hip escaping there, moves to half guard. He's in full guard, pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. They are exchanging here, Mike. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Oh, they clinch again. Oh, takes him for a ride. Side control. Boom. Oh, another one he lands. Oh, big shot from the top. Wow, that right hand. That's it. It's it over. all over. Huge victory. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Look at it from this angle. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds, of the fourth round, declaring the winner by TKO, and now, the new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ray the Bully Maynard. Ray Maynard, your UFC lightweight champion.